in this video, I'm going to talk about CDP and LLDP and how to configure them. But of course, let's talk. Let's take a look at what exactly is LLDP and uh, CDP first. So I've got this uh, document from Cisco.com, and this is for LLDP and this is for CDP or Cisco Discovery Protocol. Okay, so uh, the the difference is LLDP or Link Layer Link Layer Discovery Protocol, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Link Layer Discovery Protocol is standard and uh, CDP is Cisco proprietary protocol. Yeah, so here it says here that to support non-Cisco devices and to allow um, interoperability between other devices, the device or Cisco device says support the IEEE 802.1ab or link layer discovery protocol. Uh, LLDP is a neighbor discovery protocol that is used for network devices to advertise information about themselves to other devices on the network. This protocol runs over the data link layer, or layer 2, which allows two systems running different network layer protocols to learn about each other. So that's LLDP. Yeah here. This is what uh, I got this note. And hold on. Enabling that's not right. Enabling this. So which is this. and enabling that on a supported interface. So this is how you uh, enable LLDP on in global configuration, global configuration. And this is how you enable it on a particular interface. So you actually have two options, whether you just enable transmit or basically you enable it to transmit um, LLDP packets. And if you uh, select this option, basically you are just uh, receiving LLDP packets only. And these are, these are some of the verification commands. Okay, that's for LLDP. And this is um, for CDP or uh, Cisco Discovery Protocol. Um, it's, it's also a layer two protocol, media independent and network independent protocol that runs on Cisco devices and enables networking applications to learn about directly connected devices nearby. And this protocol facilitates the management of Cisco devices by discovering these devices, determining how they are configured and allowing systems using different network layer protocols to learn about each other. And this is how you configure it or enable it in Cisco, I mean in the global configuration mode. Let me edit that. And this is how you enable it on a particular interface. Here, you just say CDP enable. Um, based on my experience, or usually it is enabled by default on Cisco devices because it's uh, Cisco proprietary. 
and these are the these are some of the verifications verifications commands. I have this uh, topology here in TNS3, and something that we can use to um, uh, show you how you know to configure LLDP and CDP. So let me go to the into the switches. So of course this is a Cisco. Uh, this is a Cisco device. So if I do show neighbor neighbors, um, I see that from switch one I see that uh, I see that. Uh, there is a device called switch 2 connected to gig 0 slash 0 and this is its capability platform and port ID so this is the neighbor uh, ID or port ID and if I do the same command on switch 2 Oops. I will see that I will see that uh, switch one is connected to this interface, and same, it's using this uh, interface to connect to switch two. Uh, so yeah, it's CDP is enabled by default, and. Actually, I'm talking about this here. And um, if I do that, let's see, let's say CDP. Uh, so this is how you enable it on a interface. And of course, you can just do uh, no CDP enable to disable it on a particular interface. Um, usually, I these are the commands that commands that I use CDP neighbors to neighbors to see the uh, neighbors list of neighbors. In this case, I only have one neighbor switch to, and if I want to see the IP address of of course of that neighbor. I can do show uh, CDP neighbors detail. In this case, I don't have IP addresses configured on these uh, devices. But let me actually try that. Let me configure a interface. I mean, IP address on the interface. I'm actually going to do this. On dot one dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay, see a villain correct. No, shut. I will do the same on switch two. No shut. IP address 192.168.1.2.255.255.255.0. Yeah. VLAN 100 is created. I show IP interface brief. Okay. Let me ping switch one. Yeah, I can ping it. So now if I do the same command, show CDP neighbors detail. Yeah, this is, yeah, I can see the IP address of switch to. And of course, if I do the same command on switch to, I will see the IP address of switch one. So 
as you can see, you don't have to have IP addresses on the interface to see your neighboring devices. Um, because this is this is a layer two protocol and uh, media independent. So what whatever interfaces or uh, whether you are using Ethernet, uh, serial interfaces, etc. This is what you know this word means. Okay, that's for uh, CDP. I mean that's how you can you configure CDP and verify it. Let's talk about LLDP. So yeah, see uh, LLDP is not enabled by default default on Cisco devices and we can verify that by doing this command. Yeah. It says LLDP is not enabled. So I'm going to enable it. And this is how you enable it. Just LDP run. Yeah. And end save. Let's see if this will work now. See, see, see show LDP neighbors. Yeah, so we don't see switch to because switch to don't have LDP enabled. Yeah, so we have to enable it as well here. So now if I do that command, now I see switch to. And of course, I can do that command. Now I see chassis ID, okay. Let me just make this bigger. So I don't see the IP address here. But we could see it with oh, show CDP neighbors detail, right? Before, uh, earlier. Here. So it's a bit different with LLDP, show LLDP neighbors detail. But uh, I usually do this command. Oops. No. Here. No. Oh, here. Oh, I, I missed it. The IP address is actually here. We're doing this command. Let me try this one. Uh, yeah, you will also see the IP address, but the command is this. It's the IP address. Oops. Yeah, see the IP address. Yeah, that's it for, that's how you config, configure LEDP. So, um, yeah, just to reiterate, uh, CDP is Cisco proprietary and uh, LLDP is uh, industry standard.